end-to-end 10-second -end spectaculars, but 27 phases of rugby perfection. Use it, please. For the third World Cup cycle in a row. Harkin's game without that man, Joe Marler, just uh, you know, putting on a little bit of an exhibition. It's a familiar position in front of the posts for Kieran Wilkinson, and again to restore sales lead. Oh, oh my dear. goodness, that was horrible! And instead, it's still Harlequins ahead. James Haskell at the moment is a, in a rather less than uh, pleasant clinch with Joe Marler. James. Well, the referee's going to have to take control here. This is going to be an interesting listen. Two very experienced players who are going to get a bit of a telling off. He sprayed water in my face. Review it again. He sprayed water in my face James. and I reacted. And he choked me with the scrum cap. It's not allowed. You're going to the yeah, mate, come on. Right, we're bound. Look at Barla. He's looking at Estevez. I'm bound. Look at my arm. Look at my shoulder. It's touching. Look at him talking. But look at Estevez's face. He's laughing. He's smiling at him. Well, I'm delighted to see it because I think. I mean, he, he has a unique <laughs> ability, doesn't he? Joe Marler, a unique <laughs> ability. <laughs> Need a bigger meeting room here. Uh, excuse me, the both of you. Header actually to put the ball out of the area. And I think Gilbert comes in and so tries to chin him. Nobody's going quickly, I suggest you walk away. Nobody's going quickly, I suggest you walk away. Goes Sinclair. He may have done the job for Quinns here. At least he has in part. Off feet playing the ball. Marla just roaring. I think he's just trying, trying to copy what the Saracens players were doing to him in the first half. Bit tongue and cheek. And Cowan and Oh, it's, all, it's all happening, isn't it? <laughs> Move away. I think it started between Simmons and Blair Cowan. Well, Joe Marler's obviously involved as a bouncer. What are you doing? He's still checking. And Luke Joe. Pierce is. Um... Right, are you two finished? Are we, are we finished? Are we going to have this? Do you want to stand here, please? Joe, enough commentary now. It's winding people up. If you see it again, I'll just penalise you. Back here. Scrum, Quinn's ball. But he walks over and just puts his hand in the face. And it, all he's trying to do is, he thinks, right, I've got an opportunity here. I've just put my hand in the face there and push him. <laughs> but he catches him too hard. It's the look on his it's face. Like, what? What? What That's I exactly do? what he wants. He wants someone to swing at him, hit him. He goes down. You get a penalty. Harlequins clear the lines. He ends up as a hero. But unfortunately for Joe, he just catches him a little bit too hard. <laughs> I was really disappointed how quickly I was told off by Sir Wayne Barnes. No, back you go, back you go, you can't climb over a ruck. Through Coles. And Quinn's locked over it. Well, Quinn's had two or three bites in it, didn't they? They nearly turned it over a couple of times before that in the breakdown as Freeman gets some attention from the hit up that he made. Whether it's a. Come on. I didn't think it was a try at the time, and there's nothing we've checked here, there's nothing conclusive either, so that's what I'm that's rare, isn't it, Joe Marlow having something to say on that? <laughs> yeah. Are you wearing those boots for a bet? You know, like Sean David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I paid for mine, though. Did I just overhear Joe Marlow say to referee Andrew Small, are you wearing those boots for a bet?